What's going on, Dodger fans? And thanks for tuning in to another episode of Chalking It Up. My name is Ant, and I'm joined by the one and only. I'll go ahead and let him introduce himself. What's up, guys? My name's Carlos, aka Desert Doyer. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, Pops. Again, guys, I'm excited. Thank you guys for, for the positive response, the comments, the likes. But let's get it up there a little bit more. Give us some shout outs, guys. Again, follow us on. Yes. Go ahead. Let them know the, the platforms, Pop. You can watch us on YouTube. Mm -hmm. uh, you can listen to us on uh, Apple Podcasts, uh, Spotify, iHeart, Google uh, Podcasts. And I believe there's one more out there. I'm not sure what it is. Just let us know. And if there's, if there's one platform that we're not on yet, let me know. <laughs> And I'll get it on there. We'll let's go. There guys. Yeah, man. Give him a follow on Instagram. You know, he, yes. he has quite a bit of following. So, I mean, let's get his, his following up there a little bit let's more. Let's go. Follow me. Desert Doyer. We're going to go ahead and get right into it. Right into it. Yeah. The other day was FanFest, man. What, what a great turnout. How, how many showed up? 35,000 people showed up that, to FanFest. You guys, that a, a, a big shout out to all the Dodger fans that show up to FanFest. There's no actual baseball going on, guys. There's, there's, it's not even practice. They're not throwing a baseball. These guys are just literally in their jeans, and they put a jersey over their shirt. But that, that, that's the kind of support that we as Dodger fans show for our guys. It's, in blue. it's the start of the season. Everybody's it's, you know, it's the start of the 2024 season. That's the kickoff right there. That's yeah, the kickoff man. right there. Everybody's excited. Everybody wants to go see you know, all the players, yeah. especially Shohei Otani, who was yeah. out there. Man, that, that, it, and that's awesome. You know, it, it's these guys are, are taking time out of their day. Yeah, it's their job, but I mean, not a lot of guys always show up to Fan Fest. You know, we, we've been to a Fan Fest for other organizations, I guess you can say. Sometimes their star players don't even show up. They don't. But the, the fact that our Dodger players show up, they're answering fan questions, they're answering media questions. These guys are passionate. W w what's exciting is, is listening to the videos about fan. These guys are ready to get going. Like, these guys can't wait for opening day in Korea to play the Padres. Right and, and that excites me because, man, these guys are just ready to, to take off with full head of steam, man. So, yep. I mean, what did you take away from it, Pops? Uh, I mean, of course, Stephanie, I'm going to start off with the Mookie comment. Uh, they put they post it online, and all of a sudden, all all the fans from other teams are all, oh, look at him, haters, you know. Man. It's like again, Mookie Betts just came out and said that when we play other teams, it's gonna be their World Series, and and it's facts, yeah. it's true. You know, we are the villains. We're the villains of baseball. People hate us. It. Teams, I mean, not necessarily teams, but fan bases of other teams can't stand us anymore. They can't. They can't. And I mean. That is true. I mean, uh, again, for those of you guys that don't know, we're, we're located in Surprise, Arizona. So the local team out here is, is the Arizona Diamondbacks. You guys, I, 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 we've said it before. We feel like when the Dodgers show up to town, we, we help them keep their star players in town because of how, how, how they jack up the prices and they think by, oh, we're going to charge X amount of dollars. We're going to show up, baby. It's a sea of blue when the Dodgers show up into town. Not just here, but anybody's stadium. Yeah. It is a sea of blue. The, the organist or, you know, the DJ, they try to, to quiet us down. You cannot shut us down. You, you cannot keep us quiet. And that's, that's exciting. That, that is what Dodger baseball fans are all about, man. We that's, are committed to the boys in that's, blue. That's what's fun about it, and that's what I'm excited about. I mean, this year I'm taking eight trips uh, out of town. Nice. I'm um, going to nine, ten stadiums. Mm -hmm. I've been to a few already. Chicago redoing it again. Uh, Pittsburgh redoing it again. Atlanta, of course. But, uh. Going to Yankee Stadium this year, that's going to be exciting. And, exciting um, oh, and of course, D backs, Chase Field. I think uh, you're hitting on Miami this year, too. That's the first oh, for you. Miami, yes, definitely going yeah, to Miami yeah. right, up, right, after my, right after Atlanta. So yeah, that's man. the same week. I'm, I'm going to try to jump in his bag because flights are kind of expensive. So we'll, we'll see what I can do, man. Um, but yeah, I, I think getting back to fan face, getting back to, to the reaction, you know, of what Mookie's comments were. I'm personally glad. It, it, I think it's about time, you know. Um, everybody knows Mookie and Freddie kind of, you know, shit the bed last year. Sorry, sorry, my language, guys. Um, one for forty one, one or for one for forty one. Yeah, one for forty one. I mean, they they rolled over and like he said, he they need to have a complete season. Yeah. Not just a fantastic regular season. They need to have a complete season from mm -hmm. from spring training, all the way to the last out in October or November, whatever you want to say. Right. Yeah, man. And and for me personally. I was kind of being a creep on your Instagram and I was reading comments and there's a lot of upset Dodger fans saying that we rolled over. There was no fight from us. There we was, did. Um, we did. You know, I, I don't think that we, we wanted to fight. We just, you know, put our toes between our legs and we tipped our hats to the Diamondbacks, which we should. They're, they're, they're a great young team. But as far as what you want to see from players, you want that fire. You want that spark. You want that leader to, 
kind of give you that inspirational, you know, inspirational, excuse me, Denzel speech and, and get you back on the map, get you back on the right track. So for Mookie to right off the bat say, hey, we understand what we did last year. That's last year. We're excited for 2024. And that just, you know, everybody was ready for 2024. You know, it, it's not just Mookie, Freddie, Otani, um, Glass now. Everybody's ready to just take a, a nice step forward into spring training and, and getting the season rolling. What do you oh, think? Yeah, I mean, he said, he's, he also said, you know, he's like, just because I don't show that I'm angry, doesn't show, you know, doesn't necessarily mean right. that that is not bothering me. Yeah, it's yeah. not eating inside of him. He said, it's, it's eating inside of me. I'm not just going to go out there, though, and throw my hat in. Yeah. You know, he's not going to do a baby tantrum. Of course he's not, you know. So he's, he, he, knows, he knows what Dodgers fans expect, and he knows what he expects of, out of himself. <laughs> he hears us, guys. You know? Don't, don't get us wrong. You know, I, I think a, a lot of Dodger players, too, are, are kind of tired of hearing the, the Mickey Mouse World Series. I, I think these guys definitely want to show that, hey, that, that wasn't a fluke. It doesn't matter how you know, lengthy the season was. They're, they're ready to compete, and they want to bring not just one – not two, but multiple championships to the city of LA. Yeah, and they want to give go. us prayers, man. So uh, we're definitely excited for that. Again, shout out to all the Dodge fans that showed up thirty five thousand plus um, at Fan Fest. That that that's awesome. I there would have been more. There would have been more if it was free. If it was free, <laughs> but you got to make your make your money somehow. You got to pay Otani back somehow. Man. Somehow we, you got to make gotta, that money back. So hey, you know, Dodger dogs are gonna be like fifteen bucks, man. That's crazy. Um, yeah, but yeah, guys. I mean, heading heading into spring training, and if you guys have never been to spring training. You I suggest out. you go, dude. You got to it, come it's, out. It's one of the best experiences as a fan because of how close the interactions are. This guy, you know, literally makes friends with, with half of them. Some of the Dodger players follow him. I know he's excited. Gavin Lux started following him a couple seasons ago. That's his guy. Um, it, it's just that interaction pops, right? Like, it's, you know, it, it's second it's, to none. Spring training is, is to, to me, I mean, you get to go out there and you get to see them work out. Right. And, and to me, like, we, we coached. Mm-hmm. We, did. We, we we coached travel ball we coached uh you know you're the head coach for i don't know how many years we did it yeah and it's just to see what they do it's basically the same thing that we're doing yeah you know and, and so repetition. so repetition repetition you have to keep you have to keep doing it to get better at it and and that's where you, the, the young kids you know need yeah. to notice that they they notice that and they say oh hey if, if they're doing it the pros are getting paid are doing it I need to start doing it. I need exactly. to keep, start doing it now and continue doing it throughout my career. Mm-hmm. But but it's fun. I mean, I can't wait to go out there. I, it's like you said, you know, you get to interact with players. I mean, no secret. I've, I've been telling you guys for a long time, if you guys have been following me on Instagram, yeah, the first weeks of spring training are the best because mm-hmm. there's no games. There's no games. It's just training. Working out, there's just working out and they come back. So there's a lot more time to take pictures. Uh, get autographs. That's the best time to come. Yeah. So if you ever want to come out, that's the first. That's the that's the best time. Now, if you want to come out to a game, weekends definitely you're not gonna get anything because <laughs> it, it's it's, it's, it's so crowded. It's so yeah. crowded in there. There's so many people. They're not gonna autograph every single person. Okay. You're not gonna get a picture with every single player. Yeah. So come out early. Come out on weekdays when you know the crowds are less. Mm-hmm. Make sure you go out to uh, try other stadiums too. There's so yes. all the complexes are so so near each other and like uh the rangers right up like right next door to us we got the rangers and the rose here uh you know down down the road we have the the dodgers and the white Sox. uh you know then you got the the reds and the the guardians are are not too far from us we got the padres Padres as well padres mariners right right next door i mean those are all the guys are like within 15 20 and and all those are different experiences if you you know they're all different they all treat the fans different uh some are like like the rangers rangers you can literally walk (laughs) Next to them, Dude, you you're walking. The you're walking next to them. <laughs> yeah, there, there's you know? no barriers or, or anything stopping you from you know trying to high five. I think them. the Dodgers is the worst spring training uh, facility for fans, just the way they kind of move stuff around. But they got they got to take care. We're they're, they're the Beatles. You know what I mean? They, yeah, they're, they're, they're protecting the, their assets. And uh, again, not saying that you can't get a high five or an autograph. It's just it, it's it's just a little, a little, a little more bit difficult. More, yeah, it, it's just. Security is top notch, Craig, and, and and that's all it is. Um, but again, if you guys never been to spring training, get out here to you know Arizona, visit any one of the parks, go watch the Dodgers, support the boys in blue. Um, I promise you, it, it's one of the the neatest experiences yeah. that, that you'll I'll, ever get to do. Follow me on Instagram. I'll be there on Friday. I'll be uh, doing some lives, a uh, few videos here and there. Yeah. So if you if you've never been, check get it out. out. I'll I'll try to give you guys a little in details here of how to how Over to get in there, where to park. <laughs> 
I'll How to get in as an Airbnb. Just hit me up. Follow him. Yeah, let's go. Uh, we'll, we'll, rent, we'll rent our rooms out. But I mean, mo- moving on. Um, let's talk a little bit more about spring training. The non-roster invites. Who who stood out to you? I, I think we invited twenty guys or twenty-one guys. I I saw the list, and I mean, most of the guys that are on there are, are guys that are journeymen. You know, yeah. guys that are just role players here and there. Not big names, but or just guys that just move around. Yeah, yeah. You know, trying to find a job, trying to find a job for the next for the next season. They're trying out, right? Uh, th- three of the names that uh well two of them stood out to me yeah yeah first off daniel hudson again um i'm not a fan of daniel hudson not a fan of daniel hudson i am when he's healthy <laughs> when he's healthy though that, that's a and, big when he's and, healthy and, and when has when was the last time that was like uh, two years ago yeah uh, i'm not a fan of daniel hudson and dalton rushing our yes. number one prospect who has overtaken <laughs> Dan, uh, diego cortaya as our number one prospect uh, he got a non-roster yes. invitee and I'm excited. I'm excited to see him, you know, see yeah. what he has. Because I think, I think he's, he's going to be our catcher of the future. Uh, once Freddie leaves, we can move Will over to first base. Mm. And Dalton Rushing can be our catcher. Uh, don't talk about Freddie leaving, man. Too soon. I know, um, but, but I'm just saying, it's, we're in the future. We're in the um, future. Yeah, no, man. I, I, yeah, the Daniel Hudson thing, it, it, it kind of mind blows me. I, I think this is like the second or third year that we keep inviting him out and he gets hurt, but I mean, one healthy, that, that's a valuable bullpen piece. He, he, he has proven himself the best. Uh, not Blake recently. training is back, guys. Blake training is back. Blake training is we back. Don't, we don't um, need uh, Daniel Hudson. Uh, I, I mean, uh, that's just me. No, no. That's just that, my opinion. I don't, I don't, I'd rather have Blake training, a healthy Blake training. But again, that's another big what if. It's like both of these guys are, are injury prone the last couple of years. Ma- mainly Daniel. I think Daniel's had a lot more. Injuries happen, but the age. Ah. Daniel Hudson's weight is is up there. I think he's like almost my age. He's not, he's, uh, I don't think he's that old, but I think he, he might be knocking at the door of forty. I think he's maybe. forty. Yeah, yeah he's maybe. up there. Um, but yeah, I mean, you you look right now. The the, the big question still heading into spring training, and, and I mean, we'll, we'll we'll still get into uh, uh, one more guy. And actually, I'll, I'll talk about it around Trey Sweeney. I thought stood out to me. Um, we got him in a trade with New York for. Uh, Victor Gonzalez, mm-hmm. and I believe the kid's name was Jorbit Vivas. Mm-hmm. Um, he's an infielder, guys, and, and again, he he had promising, you know, stats in, in the minors. But uh, it's interesting in a way like there's not a lot of room to to add more guys to to our current roster. Um, he he really has to do something crazy, or or you know, knock on wood, somebody gets hurt and he gets an opportunity. Um, <laughs> But yeah, guys, that 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 I thought that was uh, an interesting invite. He, yeah. he is a guy that he he actually. If you guys have seen videos, Google him, pull up his stats on MLB. He has a solid glove. His, his bat is the question on on why he hasn't taken that leap and why New York was kind of willing to say, okay, I'll, I'll trade it's, him away. It's it's kind of hard with the Dodgers too, especially like guys like him um, yeah. that that want to make the team. I mean, it's the Dodgers. I mean, are you really going to overtake Mookie Betts at second base? Hell no. Are you going to overtake Freddie Freeman at first base? Not for a while. Are you going to overtake Shohei Otani at DH? Are you going to take overtake Will Smith? It's it's so yeah. hard. No. The window to make this team is is so close. It's like it's cracked open this much. It is. And for you to make this team, you got to make a big impression you in do. spring training, and yep. that's that's your one chance right there. That's your chance right there. You got to. Overtake it. You got to make sure you can get your whole body in through in through there and, and say, "Hey, get somebody to notice." Like, "Hey, this guy right here, right. this guy that right here has an opportunity to make this ball club," or, or like Diego Cartaya, maybe uh, oh, you can, you can make an impression and we can trade you. Dude, and I mean, but you you got to look at that. Yeah, like Diego's not not even ranked top one hundred anymore, man. No, he's not. He's he's, it, it he's was, fallen. It was a down year, and I know we talked about that on the previous podcast. But I mean, to, to see Dalton. On the list, it's like, you're right. We have Will Smith already. Now you have two promising young catchers. Diego kind of dropped off, but you know it's somewhere in there. And, and again, we have the conversation. Do you do you trade these pieces to, to add to the Dodgers? Which we do still have bullp- uh, bullpen needs. We do. And, and again, talking about Daniel and, and Blake, do you trust that route as far as them being healthy? Or do you go in, hey, do we re- reunite with Kenley? Do, do we, oh, do we no. go overpay for Ryan Brazier? It's like what? Right, what right option do you go? You know, there's a or we can trade uh, for Devin Williams. You can. I, uh, I think Milwaukee's kind of wanting I, to sell people. I mean, they traded Corbin Burns, which I was crazy, man. 
I don't. I don't think they. I don't think a lot of teams want to trade with the Dodgers right now. They don't want to give us. Of, of course, they don't because once it's it's shopping at the Dodgers and shopping at against. Let's let's just say that against the Angels. You're shopping with the Angels. You're shopping at the thrift store. Yeah, yeah. You're shopping at the Dodgers. You're shopping at Bloomingdale's. Maybe. You okay, know you, you you're 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 looking at nice things. Gucci. You know you want the most expensive stuff, especially if it's oh hey it's on it's on them. I'm gonna go out and try to get whatever I can. But when you're shopping with some other team, you're like, well, well I guess I'll, I'll take that. I guess right, right. No, that's I mean, a win. It, it, that's kind of you know the downfall. You know, I think other teams notice we we do have a solid farm system. I think it's a top six this year or top seven. Yeah, it's a top. It's a top ten. Um, top ten for sure. Um, but yeah, uh, again, people are like, hey, we're we're not gonna make the rich get richer. You know, they're gonna yeah. make it definitely make it harder for us. Um, but yeah, it's just like, how, how much are we willing to give up to? Help, help us now you know you don't want to give everybody away but at some point you do you do have to have these discussions about i want to give people. everybody away <laughs> i want to win a world series so bad i'm really yeah. i'm willing to hey let's go trade the farm yeah man trade the farm because i want to parade oh, i want to sure. parade i mean and i don't necessarily i don't think we're going to give everybody away but like like to me diego cartaya miguel vargas yeah. uh He's and, and maybe this maybe year, two guys. two or three other pitchers Package, send them over to to the Brewers and say, "Here, there it is. Give us Devin Williams and Willie Adamas." Sorry, guys. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. But hey, uh, again, I, I think talking a little bit more about Blake in, in the bullpen, I'm excited because he was very promising, um, especially that one year that he was an All Star in Oakland. I think that was what, like 2018, 2019. 2018. Um, yeah. He was an All Star. Yeah. You guys, he came over. Uh, we won the World Series. Um, he was just lights out. He was. He was. He was he, very dependable. He was that bridge guy to get to Kenley. Yeah. He, he, Kenley and Blake were probably the best one-two punch that year. Uh, I think he had about 32 holds. And if you guys don't know what holds mean, that means he came in in the eighth inning and he held it to, to transfer that ball over to the actual closer, which I think, you know, and we didn't pull up Kenley's stats, but Kenley had a, a really solid leader that last year with us as well. Um, but for, for Blake, the, the, the year that he got hurt in 22, that, that was the last time we saw him in, in Dodger Blue. He only played in five games, Pop. Five games. I, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's why, and that's why I said having Blake training back this year and hopefully getting back to 2020 form or 2018 form, Dude. man, that's going to be an awesome piece to have Hell, in the bullpen. Yes. Because you now you're adding another, that's another, that's another solid three outs right there, mm-hmm. g- making that game shorter for the opposing team. Like, hey, <laughs> If we can't score early, it's going to be lights out. It's going to be difficult to get runs late in the games. For sure, guys. And he's already on the payroll, man. We don't, we don't got to go overpay for somebody. I know a lot of guys want to bring back Ryan Brazier. I, I don't, he, don't get me wrong. He had a solid year last year. But let's not overpay for somebody who's just going to probably give us a, a one good year and, and he's looking for like a three, four-year deal, honestly. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not looking. Yeah, that's, but, and that's why I think Devin Williams could be a, a, a nice fit for us because I think we could extend him. Right, right. You know? He is a young piece. So, I mean, yeah, that, that's just something to look into. Um, and, again, just, just staying along the topic of, of guys that, you know, you're looking into 2024. You mentioned it. Miguel Vargas. The, the, the dude's going to start in AAA. What do we do? It, he, do, do you move him over to third base now and, and plan for him to take over Max in a couple years? Do we shop him? Do we get somebody? I know me and you have talked behind the scenes. You want Nolan Arnauto to come home, too. It, again. Diego Cartaya, Miguel Vargas. You got you got pieces to make some moves. Yeah. You know, you can say, hey, here we go. If you want to go with Devin Williams, you can go with Nolan Arenado. You, can, you, you want to start, you can, we can go that route. We can go mm-hmm. with, with Dylan Cease. The Dodgers have players to make moves. Endless opportunities. And, I mean, it's not – and I get it. You don't want to make all your moves now because, right. because you don't know what's going to happen uh, towards the trade deadline and some, something occurs to somebody. Yeah. And you need that piece to cover in, and that's why you have all these chip pieces. But, but we have we have pieces that we can that we can move around. Mm-hmm. And and Friedman has never disappointed. No, if we needed something, he's gone out and got it for us. You know, so uh, they're, they're they're very mathematical, analytical, whatever political you want to talk about. Again, guys, in Andrew, we trust. Yes, the, the man yes. brought us Otani. He brought us Mookie. He brought us Freddie. And hopefully my I man mean, can he's, bring us back. Clayton he's brought us a lot season. of stuff, you know, Scherzer, uh, Trey Turner, Manny Machado. I mean, whenever yeah, there's man. a need, 
he goes out and fills that need. Yeah. And so. So, yeah, we, we, we can't question them in. But again, uh, I think we got a lot of in-house options. Let's not go over pay for somebody just because they had a solid year last year because we, we've been burned like that before. But if uh, those outside options bring us a World Series, let's do it. Anything, let's do it. With any means necessary, guys. Um, so, again, you know, just, just kind of wrapping it up, you know, it, we're moving on from spring training. Uh, the, the season's underway again, February 9th. Um, what, what else do you think we need to go ahead and, and just get it going? Like, let, let, let's go ahead as Dodger fans, as Dodger players. What else do we need to, to just – let's welcome the season, man. Yeah, I mean, there's – again, there's not much – what else can you add? I mean, yeah, we can go out and grab more stuff, but, man – we're just being real picky now. I mean, I'm I'm happy with what we have right now. Solid lineup. I, I can't I can't wait to get. I mean, to me, spring training maybe should be a little bit shorter because I want to get I want to jump right into the regular season. I want let's they just have three. It. It's already know, shorter. But, but let's just have maybe four games. <laughs> four games. Four games. Oh, that's wow. it. That's all you need. Yeah, yeah. That's all you. It's 162 games. Mm. You know, it's 162 games. You don't you don't have time to. <laughs> Let's get it underway, fit, guys. Fit your pieces here and there. But, uh, I mean, that's just my, I'm just, but, uh, no, I'm excited for that one month that we have spring training for. But I, I can't wait. I, I, I mean, I don't know. There's, there's so, many, so many things that I, I, I want to see. I want to see the rotation, how it's going to take form. I mean, we know who the rotation is already. Right. I just want to see what are they going to do. Uh, is Yamamoto, like you said, is he going to be able to adapt? You know, is he going to be able to adapt to, to MLB, playing 162 games, being the fifth man on the, on the rotation? Mm-hmm. Uh, is Glass now going to stay healthy? Is Bobby Miller, you know, going to, you know. Take a leap forward? Yeah, take a leap forward a and, and not regress. Is, yeah. is Walker Buter going to come back healthy and give us a strong 2024? Look, knowing that he's a free agent in 2025. Um, you know, all those little things. Uh, is Mookie, how's, how's the outfield going to be now with Mookie being in the infield? Full time. I mean, do we have enough pieces? Is Dave gonna manage the game correctly? Uh, Dave. Is Dave gonna manage the game correctly, moving pieces around? You'd hope so, man. You know, he, he, I know he he already solidified the, the top of the batting order uh, at FanFest. I, I think we all knew. We we spoke about it. Oh, yeah. There, there's no way you don't go with the one, two, three punch. Um, but yeah, man. I, I think heading in, we're we're in a great spot. Definitely. Dodgers are excited. Dodger fans are excited. We're all excited. Um, and let's just get the season going, baby. Like, uh, let's again, go. let's go. Let's go. Um, move, move, moving along, you know, kind of still staying in, in the, the baseball realm. Uh, a couple people reached out to us and, and wanted to get our opinion on uh, MLB The Show 24. I don't know if you – I'm, I'm a big gamer, guys. Uh, I, I do play a little bit more 2K than anything. Um, I'll, I'll definitely be playing the show this year now that Otani's on the Dodgers. Um, I'm not a big gamer. <laughs> I'm retired. Uh, but I am coming back out of retirement when college football comes out. But we're talking about the show, and I don't think Vladdy was the right the pick. The fan reaction went crazy, man. Um, yeah, I, mean, I, w- I think everybody was surprised it was Vladdy. I, think- I mean, if I'm a Braves fan, I'm upset. I mean, it's just a game. Mm-hmm. It's not an award. And, and knowing the the jinx thing, the curse, the curse, the curse of, the of, of curse. yeah, the Madden yeah, curse yeah. and all that stuff. How how so Cunha not the the, the 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 face of the game? Here, so okay, so so better yet, let let let's break it down. Let let's let's recap Vladdy's year compared to Acuna. And again, th- this is why people went nuts on the internet. I, I like MLB. The show got roasted for not even like. I mean, I, Vladdy. I know, it's just Vladdy had a fantastic twenty twenty one. Fantastic twenty twenty one. Kind of re- you know went down in twenty twenty. 2022, mm-hmm. and then last year kind of picked it up, but not not significant. I mean, he he had so, what? He had 26 home runs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, um, I think. I mean, obviously stolen bases. He's a big boy, but he only 264 had five. average. That's solid. It's it's not great. It's not, not great. 264 average is not a game cover average. <laughs> it's not a game cover. It's average. not a game cover. Let's look at Acuna's numbers. Look at Acuna's numbers. A man dropped 41 dingers. 73 stolen bases. 106 RBIs, 337 average. That's Those a game, game average numbers. right there. That's Those a video, video game, game average, numbers. right? Um, I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not disagreeing with you. I, I, again, as a baseball fan, yeah, I, I thought, I thought Ronald Acuna got, got, he got jacked from the title, man. I mean, he, he should have been the cover athlete. Yeah, he um, should have been the cover athlete. Which, 
again, we, we I, I was I enjoy reading the comments, man, and and some of you guys are ruthless out there. So yeah, I mean, the ne- internet never fa- uh, loses. The internet <laughs> never loses. No man. So I, it, again, I I think our reaction was like, what the hell? Too, because we're excited. Again, I, I I'm a big gamer. I, I, I'm gonna pick up the show this year again. But yeah, I I definitely didn't think Vladdy deserved to be the cover athlete. I yeah. thought Ronald just kind of ran away with it. He, a, a historic season. Um, very, very. And, and then he, you know, he capped it off with the, an MVP too. So I mean, it, it's kind of, I don't know, mind boggling as to why they went the Vladdy route. But again, I, 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 I don't run that that studio for the game. So again, that was just our reaction. We we know a lot of people just wanted to hear our opinion on it and. We both voted for, for Ronald Acuna. If, if they would have sent us a vote, our, our vote would have been for yeah, Ronald. Definitely. Um, also, also, uh, we didn't talk about this, but uh, Adrian Beltre, mm, Hall of Fame. Adrian, number 29. Oh, man. I mean. <laughs> <sighs> I'm glad you brought that up. because, And this is kind of how we're going to wrap it up. Um, so I, I, I wanted to, to kind of talk with you as a fan. And you've been a fan, obviously, longer than me. I'm about to be 32 in a couple of weeks. What What is your fondest memory as, as a Dodger fan, from from youth to adult to kind of the rise of, of Desert Doyers? Like, what what stands out to you as a fan? Oh, I have, I have. I mean, <laughs> I have. So, I have so many memories. Oh, we're gonna make time. <laughs> we're, gonna... we're gonna make time. So you're gonna stay here and watch. <laughs> you're gonna listen to this. And program. you're gonna listen, whatever you're doing. Uh, no, I mean. I'm not, <laughs> There's just so many. My my first time going to Dodger Stadium mm-hmm. is is, I mean, I'm gonna cry. No. Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean walking into Dodger Stadium for the first time ever. Mm-hmm. I mean it was it was top deck seats. No, it was reserved seats. Sorry, it was reserved seats. But still, walking into that place was just felt like a cartoon. Yeah, yeah. The colors, like I had never seen colors that bright, that beautiful, that. Just walking into there, like yeah. that was that's. I think it feels like that now. A- a- anytime you show up to that, just I, I don't know. I just to me, just that was one of the greatest moments nothing, of you know nothing like your first time. You know, yeah, just walking into the stadium is such a beautiful sight. If you've never been to mm-hmm. Dodger Stadium for the first time, walking in there, the '88 World Series. I wasn't even. I wasn't even in LA. I was. I was in Guatemala, watching it a day later. But that, that to me, I mean, winning a World Series was fantastic. Mm-hmm. Um, and then coming out on, on, on TV when, you know, the first time on MLB Network. Yeah. You know. <laughs> I remember that. Our East L.A. sign. East L.A. sign mm-hmm. and Matt Kemp for MVP season. That, that, was, that was fantastic for me. I kind, yeah. That's kind of when I think my Instagram kind of took off. Yep. yep so, yep. so, yeah, I mean, there's, there's so many things. I mean, getting, uh, acquiring players, you know, when we got Manny. Manny Wood, you know Manny. Yeah, when, when Manny Wood, I remember where I was. I remember exactly where yeah. I was, uh, and I heard the news. Manny, Manny's coming to the Dodgers. That was crazy. You know, there's there's just so many things that make you know go, going to Boston last year was fantastic. Mm-hmm. Uh, going to Atlanta all, all the time, you know, that's there's just so many things that I love. Yeah, like they say, hey, you know, make make uh, live your dreams now, mm-hmm. and, and and don't you know. Don't just rely on the on 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 living on whatever. I forgot yeah. what the saying was, but uh, <laughs> I, I it's just hey, if you, whatever you, whatever makes you happy, do it now. Don't yeah, wait right. till the don't wait till it's too late. Mm-hmm. For sure. No, I mean I I think you, you kind of topped it. I think when we when we first moved out here to Arizona, um, I, I had only been to a handful of Dodger games as a youth. You know, we we it was for whatever reason. Again, I I I, I didn't want to go babysit. <laughs> I wanted to watch a game. Yeah, so I wasn't gonna take little kids to the game. Yeah, so once I knew that, money on popcorn or kind of, he once I knew, once I knew that they were into the game and they were gonna watch the game, that's when I started bringing <laughs> them more often. But I wasn't gonna babysit and you know, like a lot of parents, they go to the games oh, and man. then they take them to the play area and there's like all day over dude. there and they're all day in line. No, 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 no. If you're gonna go to the game, you're gonna go to the game. You're gonna watch the game. Vas a sentar and you're gonna watch the entire game and we're gonna go to the bathroom once, one time, once, one time. And you better hurry up. Um, yeah, but no, I mean, I, I think again, we first moved out here. Um, I, I think it was you. And a couple of uncles, I, I forgot what uncles came with us, and we painted our faces for the first time. Yes. And we were sitting down. I think it was it was right behind the Diamondbacks. I think we were no, like no, a couple yeah, of yeah, sections yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And, and people were looking at us funny, like these dudes, like, and, and I'm young. I'm barely like 12 or 13, I think. 
and and we painted our faces and we bought the wrong type of face it wasn't even face paint guys no. it was like regular paint so our eyes started eyes, burning yeah. uh and it was like summertime so Chucky moon yeah we, we didn't moon. um we didn't we didn't know what we were doing so i i think that that's my first like hey I, i'm really a dodger fan like you know i i remember i was still wearing my jersey from little league it was number 16 uh, i'll never forget that it was from a t-ball it still fit me it was a little tight i was a little husky but i, I still wore that um but i i think my best memory as a Dodger fan and kind of when I solidified, like, dude, like, I, I bleed blue. Uh, 11 was the year that Matt Kemp, I think, came in second. Was, was that he had a crazy MVP year and he came in second to freaking Ryan Brown, which that's still bullshit till this day. Um, but, but we literally had gone to every game that year out here. And the last game that they showed up here, he was trying to go for that 30 30 stolen base and home run because it hadn't been done in however long. Matt Kemp's mom requested us to go take a picture with her because me and this guy were the loudest people at Chase Field chanting for Matt, MVP, chanting East LA. And I thought it was just the coolest. And this was at the time, guys, that I was dressing up to as I Dodger with my dad. And I'll probably pick it up eventually. Um, I, I do miss it. I, I, I stopped because it, it, it gets a little tiring waiting to take pictures with everybody. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, and it's hot as hell in that mask. But... That, that was probably my best experience as a fan because I thought it was, we got to meet Matt Kemp's mom. Like, she, she called yeah. us over, and, and we took a picture with her. And I, I don't know if you still have that picture. I, yeah, I don't think I, I, I do. I have it. I have it. But it was cool because she's like, thank you guys for supporting my son. Like, she's like, I heard you guys from way down here. And I was like, damn. Like, Matt Kemp's mom called us over. Like, she had security come get us and walk down to where she was sitting. And I know she tried getting us to, to meet Matt Kemp, and, you know, he, he, he was busy or whatever. But I thought it, that that was probably the, the coolest Dodger moment that I had is being recognized for being the loudest in that stadium. And again, just somebody's mom, just like appreciating what we're doing for their son. So again, guys, we're, we're, we're diehard Dodger fans. Um, and, and again, that, that was around the time where his stardom started to come up. And, and I start just, he's, he's, he's known as a, a diehard Dodger fan. And, and that was kind of cool that, you know, I got to share that moment with my dad and that, that's something that I'll hold forever because I, Matt should have won the MVP that he year. Should have, we he were pissed have, off at Ryan Braun because I think the following year of that offseason, he got busted for PEDs. Asshole. That's cool. So, I mean, yeah, dude. Matt, shout out. You're the MVP that year. But, dude, that what's your guys' is coming to, like, hey, this is, this is where I became a Dodger fan. Um, we want to hear, even if, you know, just your best moment, if, if it's with us. You know, we've, we've had a lot of people come to games with us because of how exciting we are. We don't drink, guys. We don't. When you guys hear us yelling and chanting and, and just being the loudest guys in the ballpark, we're not intoxicated at all. I can't no. tell you how many Doesn't times no beer. people come up to us <laughs> offering this guy a beer. He's like, I don't drink. But And then they walk away, and I was like, get that man a Sprite, and he's going to love you. Get that man an orange soda. He's, yes. he, he's oh. going to cheer as loud as he can for you. Oh, man. If you give um, me an orange soda or a <laughs> soda, good Lord. Yeah, man. So, I mean, again... Let us know in the comments what's your, like, damn, I'm, I'm a Dodger fan moment or even your best moment with us. Because, again, we, we've had a lot of games, especially out here in Arizona, because we are locals now. Um, people love going with us because they, they, they get high off of how loud we get, how passionate we are. Um, th there's been years, you know, we're chanting for Andre Ethier. We're, we're, we're singing happy birthday to Jay Hay last year. Oh, yeah. And yeah. people are, like, going nuts that he responds to it. We're just passionate Dodger fans, man. Hey, we, we love the blue. We bleed the blue, man. I mean, uh, like I said, this, this is, this is, I love baseball because baseball is year round. Mm -hmm. Baseball is, is played year round. It's not just the, it's not just spring training. It's not the regular season, not the postseason, not the off season. It's, it's year round. You know, we get to watch baseball year round. And like right now, the um, Dominican games are going on right now. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. forgot what they're the called. Games, the, uh, the Winter League yeah, thing is going on. Mm -hmm. The Mexican series just wrapped up, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and now they have, this is another thing that, I mean, I'm kind of dragging it from different, but I love that they have a softball, feminine softball, yeah. playing at the stadium. That's that cool. man, I imagine the Dodgers having a a, 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 feet, a softball team on the field during the during the off season. That would be fantastic, That'd you know, cool. playing the D backs, <laughs> playing you know the San Francisco, the Padres, all having a softball team. That would be awesome, you know. That I, I love. I would love that. That that would be cool. Hopefully, we but yeah, yeah, let us, so. yeah, let us, let us know what your mm -hmm. what your you know what your Dodger moment is when you realized, hey. Uh, I'm home, baby. This, this is yeah. this is my team, mm -hmm. uh, and this is this was my moment when I knew I became a Dodger fan. Yeah, man. And again, like, subscribe, and, and just 
give us a shout out, man. Sh- please, share, guys, please. share. Like, let let you know, tag people uh, on the stories or or on YouTube or whatever it is. You know, I'm gonna post this on on Instagram, a little mm-hmm. short clip on Instagram. Share it. The whole, you know, just one follower. You know, it, it takes, it's one step at a time, guys. <laughs> yeah, guys. We're not we're not gonna get to the top. You know. Uh, in one jump, you know, we're, we're it's gonna take a little be leaps and bounds. Right, right. Uh, this is the first uh Monday that mm-hmm. we're gonna be posting this, so it's, we're gonna be posting every Monday, weekly, guys. Yeah, every Contact. Monday, and then um, you never know, maybe we'll have here and there, we'll drop some specials here because we're excited, you know. Uh, and again, oh, yeah, hey, Super Bowl Sunday is next week, yeah, but we're still gonna have a show. Um, who, who you got now, as, Ra- as Raider fans, you know, you're, you're, you're rooting for Esther in a great halftime show. <laughs> That's that's what you're doing. As as a Raider fan, you just pray to God that actually doesn't blow, man. Um, that, that's all you can ask. Yeah, for. I mean, I don't even know. I mean, do you want San Francisco? Because uh, nope. there's a lot of Dodger fans that are that cheer for the 49ers. I don't. I mean, hey, that's crazy. That's, to me. that's on you. That's crazy. Yeah, that's on you. There's I mean, something wrong with you guys. Yeah, like therapy. again, like I said, we don't even eat rice aroni here. <laughs> it's not allowed. You know, nothing San Francisco related. Uh, and and as Raider fans, the Chiefs, the rivals. No way, Pat. <sighs> It's going to be a tough Super Bowl. Um, real quick, Lakers, two games, two nice wins Solid for the Lakers. Win. You know, About time, bro. No AD, no LeBron against, uh, uh, against Boston. Boston. That was a clutch win. And then uh, a, a nice, nice uh, and then last night, uh, beat, New York. I, beat New York. So, hey, again, small momentum. And, and UCLA, guys, UCLA basketball. Fight, fight, Men's fight. basketball and women's basketball. Women's, women's basketball, crazy. Good, I love man. that lineup they have. Women I love. Crazy. I, I know. I know a lot of hype goes around uh, USC and the Juju girl. But oh man, she's good though. Fifty-one. I mean, she just po- fifty-one. Fifty-one yeah. points, and they scored sixty-eight. Yeah, she she was hooping. It's like, game. is there anybody else playing on that team? Dude, that's crazy. Yeah, I mean, but yeah, no. Shout 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 out to Juju. Um, yeah. We're not USC Kiki, fans. Kiki but... Rice though. Kiki Rice. Let's go. Yeah, baby. London Jones, let's go. Uh, no, I, lo- I love the... Uh, the Women's eh, college basketball, man. Yeah, and then definitely, and definitely the men's. I mean, this was a, a down year because look look how many guys left. You, left. you had all your leadership leave. And, uh, and, uh, and now we kind of... They knew. I mean, he knew. The, the coach knew that this was a rebuilding year for them. Mm-hmm. This was a rebuilding year. And right now... We're they, exceeding expectations, guys. They're four, the last five games, they're four and one. Four and one the last five games, you know, and the one loss was the bad loss against Utah. Uh, they got that one hurt. so uh, I mean they got blown out, and, but they had good wins. They they beat SC, uh, they they beat uh, both Washington and Oregon schools this past weekend. Mm-hmm. Next weekend they got uh, Stanford and Cal. So yep, yep. we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm excited for March Madness is coming around. Yeah, that's I, an I, time I, you know, go. definitely. You know, I, I look forward to March Madness. That's yeah. that's that's a, it's sports, man. We love sports, uh, love baseball. It. Baseball's getting started. Love LA. You know, you know All Star Breaker now is for the NHL. That that, that game happened. Last oh, Pro Bowl. Night. Pro Bowl skills competition today. Uh, this weekend, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, dude. We're, Again, yeah. we're recording on Sundays, but we're posting till Mondays. Yeah. Because last weekend we 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 did a, a and and it does, it does not good on the weekends because you it, guys are busy. It fizzled. We know you guys got plans. Yeah. So. so yeah. So we record on Sundays and we post on Mondays. Hopefully, again, uh, we're going to cut it now. Um, we're reaching that minute. Yeah, guys. And again, again, 35, 40 minutes. To us, yeah. uh, again, chalking it up with, with Desert Doyer and Miho, a.k.a. Ant. Um, yeah, guys, again, just comment, like, post, share. And we, we, we look forward to interacting with you guys a little bit more. Again, he, he, he has some, some, some giveaways that he wants to do eventually. And, you know. A shirt. We're going to do, do a shirt giveaway soon. Embrace the villain role, guys. And maybe another hat giveaway soon. I mean, hats are hard to find right now. So, yeah. but we'll see. But we'll see what we do. And um, again, I say hey, thanks again for uh, watching, thanks tuning again, in. Guys. Comment below. Share. Like the post. That way we, hey, the, the more likes it gets, the more the algorithm says, hey, people are interested. More people are buying into right. it. And it exposes it more out yeah. there to other people that aren't kind of into Dodgers, but are into baseball mm-hmm. or whatever it is. You know, hey, we're here. We're here Help to talk Dodgers. Out, Help us out again. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you guys next week. Have hey, let's one. go. And as always, let's go, Dodgers. Let's go. Let's go.